mga agri friends welcome sa Green Mana Aquaponic Farms dali, dali mo Hi, ako nga lang si Omar, Omar uh, Tubong Banwa. Akong background is uh, aviation, pero way back 2016, naka-interest ko sa farming. It was just a simple YouTube uh, video. And then from there, uh, nahinay ko research. And it turned out nga na ay usaka feed, usaka video sa feed na ko about aquaponics. I don't know what happened next, but I got hooked on this uh, on on the topic. I like research school, like uh, study put, and then it took me about four years ago, about three to four years until na materialized na dream, and then karon niyat sa atong greenhouse, green man aquaponic farms na tuman ragad ang damgo nga akong nasugdan way back 4 years ago. Uh, nagsugod ni ang first operation nagsugod way back uh, I think August 2019. Wala pa tay fish, wala pa tay plants pero recirculate ng tubig. Uh, Gibutangan lang ako kanang um, a little bit of ammonia which is a good practice sa uh, Aqua, aquaponics uh, to encourage the good bacteria and then few months after that I introduced the fish few months after the fish was introduced ang plants not so good uh, di pa good perfect and it's still a work in progress but we're getting there within fact last March to April May uh, March, April, May if you were here Kining tulo ka grow beds, puno ni siya o kining seven varieties of lettuce, and it was a good start. It was a good start. Yan nagsugod dapat mga harvest of fish, and after karon, we decided on a full scale production. What is aquaponics? Aquaponics is is a coined word that we derive sa aquaculture and hydroponics. Aquaculture is a science or a branch of agriculture nga naggrow silag mga fishes and hydroponics is also a branch of horticulture nga naggrow silag mga plants without using soil but they use uh, hydro or tubing. Ani ang aquaponics gikuha na niya on both the 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 strength of both system gikuha na niya ni gihimog aquaponics. On the top of my head, nai siguro nai dua ka reasons nganong importante ang aquaponics. The first one is food purity. The second one is food security. Talking about food purity, siguro kabalo naman tanga kalabanan ng sa mga pagkaon atong makitan sa atong grocery stores, grocery shop shops. Tagahan na og mga fertilizers, tagahan og mga pesticides nga gisagol diha, gispray diha. Within fact, kung tanaw na to ang back sa label sa 
food carton na to ay dagan din mga ingredients nga wata kasabot mo asa tugikan ka naman E4, E16, C or whatever it is I myself doesn't want to put that in my body Aquaponics solve that problem I mean it may not be able to fun to to, uh, to to solve 100% but it will help solve the problem of food purity because aquaponics fertilizers and pesticides is a complete no no once you do that sa aquaponics kunakay mga insect infestation and then you spray them once you do that once you break that rule ang unang mamatay ang imong isda and it took you months aron ma stabilize ang nutrient system sa imong tubig you don't certainly want to break the rule of aquaponics nga fertilizers synthetic fertilizers pesticides is a no no good the second reason nga nung important ang aquaponics is that uh, because of food security uh, nasayod man ta nga most people nowadays ga rely sa food source gikan sa mga food sources farm ba or sa mga commercial farms or something local farms or commercial farms kunya it took days siguro to truck their food ngadto sa ilang grocery stores ngadto sa ilang food table and uh, what do you think would happen kung naay naay uh, naay something nga maka maka disturb sa food traffic let's say natural disasters or uh, political upheavals or bagyo ba or storms sa, re sa research ganing karon eh, 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 ilang ingon nga an average family has only three days worth of food na naa silang storage some even less than that and what would happen if the food source will be cut off kung naa kay farm kukulingon ni mo kung naa kay garden ni mong kukulingon that will help solve the problem of food security. Pero kung naa kay aquaponics, the same land area sa traditional agriculture, traditional farming, you can even solve the food security problem even in a much better level because you can grow more foods aquaponics. You can grow more variety of plants in aquaponics. Ang um, disadvantage and not really Ang weakness sa aquaponics, the way I see it, is ang gasto sa kuryente. The reason behind is because aquaponics is, ang circulation niya is run by pumps. We have fishes nga nanginanglan o hangin. So, kinanglan tag air pump na. And uh, to run these machines, basically we need a good source of electricity. Uh, there is a green man aquaponic farms na atay solar panels na magkatabang o uh, lower sa cost sa electricity dili pa gyud kayo katong daggo nga panels mo mo among aim pero ga inahinay me nga at least we can be able to uh, at least eradicate the cost of electricity of, of our monthly bills and second weakness po sa aquaponics is that since this is run by, I mean, it is circulated by mechanical machines, uh, motors, water motor pumps, what uh, air motor pumps. Dili, dili kikapiding, uh, you take your eyes off from these machines even for an hour. I mean, I'm saying that as a cliche. The point I'm saying that is because ang um, fish, they cannot last 30 minutes without air or without circulation nai ammonia build up, nai nitrite build up and it will poison the fish and sooner or later, especially if you have high stocking density mang lutaw ganay mang isda and it's not good for your investment so as a as an operator, as, a, as an aquaponic operator kinanglan hands on ka gyan uh, kung dili maganay, kung kinanglan ka mula ka at least lang ka kayo magbilinan nga magbantay sa these machines to run efficiently 24-7 non-stop the biggest challenge nga akong na-encounter was during the construction phase. Uh, ang reason man is na ako sa abroad nag, nagtrabaho pa and then it was some kind of a virtual management. Uh, so the virtual management was a challenge. Uh, instead of 
mahuman na ang construction siguro in a matter of a few months or less than a year. It went on for more than a year. Actually, one year and five months, one year and, one year and four months. So that was one of the biggest challenge. Uh, another biggest challenge is to look for somebody who can help me with the project. The uh, reason Magodihat is because aquaponics is new to the community and not much very there is not much people who has the technical skill about the system uh, makatabang na kog inputs makatabang na kog brainstorm something like that so that was one of the biggest challenge there is a farm na to uh, we have 10 uh, 8 cubic meter fish tanks Ang yung volume niya is 8 cubic meter. Ang size niya is 10 feet ang diameter. Yeah, 4 feet, approximately 4 feet ang length, ang depth. Ang water depth, ang, ang uh, 4 feet ang tank depth. Ang water depth is mga 3 feet and 8 inches na siguro, roughly about 8 or 7 inches. And yeah, each cubic tank, yeah, each tank, uh, the target may of stacking density of 80 to 85 kilograms per cubic meter. Uh, that would be materialized at the end of the month. We taud na ang mga aerators to give an ample supply of air sa atong livestock pohon. Here, this is the powerhouse of our system. Uh, every every aquaponic system, both back both backyard and commercial base like this same principle applies a powerhouse a power source nimo is your fish your fish tank mona nga imo na timanon imong fish kay sila mo atiman sa plants the plants will clean the water back to the fish so ganiha nakita ninyo nga pakaon na tong isla because ang um, feed it convert na sa isda into uh is Siyempre, ilan ang i-digest. 80% ana is mangawas raman na. 20% sa feed, man, ilan ang i-retain sa ng body which will be turned into uh, body fat or body mass. The rest of that, which is about, roughly about 80%, will go straight to their anos, to their uh, excre excretis. So, kato siya, which is commonly known as fish poop, imo na siyang i-digest. We, we, we call it biodigestion. If digest it in too big, if dissolve it in too big, that will be turned into nitrates. Well, it's a nitrification process for some nitrites and the nitrates. And the nitrates is the feed or the food for the plants, which will make your plants grow big, faster, and bigger compared to uh, soil-based uh, planting. The source of tubig na to <clears throat> is directly from uh, in this farm, ang source of tubig is deep well lang. Pwede, pero kung wala mo yung deep well, kung if you're planning to uh, uh, construct your own aquaponic systems, you can actually find any source, any good source of water, either stream or river, as long as make sure lang adili siya hard water. Rainwater is one of the best source of aquaponic system, aquaponic farms. Uh, what I mean of Hard water is that sa aquaponics man god you are maintaining a val a pH value of six to seven. If you go beyond that range, either maglisod ka og operate or maglisod po og kanang uh, grow ang imong imong plants. The fish can take it, but the plants maybe mag mag experiences la og nutrient lack. So you grow between this range, this pH range of six to seven. Ang hard water is that it's constantly high in the amount of time naturally ang water ni mom ubos gina yung pH value that's natural hard water dili gina siya one reason is because na kay ang source ni mo siguro puno og anapog you are in a limestone country so maglisod og naog ang pH kung mo kumok kung kung mao na nga tubig ang imo gamiton chances are Apektado ang imong operation. Kung tanawin mo sa system nato, sa farm nato, natin duha ka klase nga pipes. Well, uh, yeah, duha. One is water pipe and one is the uh, for the for the air pipe. 
Talking about the water pipe, nothing do wrong color. Ang sa is red or orange, okay? And the other one is blue. The blue one is coming out from the uh, from the clean water part. Kikan ni sa uh, limpyo ng tubig na nagpass by na sa filters. Kining orange, kining silalom, mao ni siya ang green gikan sa fish tanks. In fact, kung makita ni mo dia sa inyong kwan, sa camera ni mo, tanang, tanang orange pipes naglink na dito sa box filter na to. Especially sa large scale or commercial base aquaponics, you need a good amount of uh, filtration. Now, uh, kung sa backyard lang siguro, you don't probably need that kay na mangkay plants, na mangkay mga screen meshes that you can extract the fish waste out easily. Pero sa large scale like this one, imogin ang i-address ang filtration first. Otherwise, you will going to have a good problem, a good amount of problem later sa imong fish and plants. So, there are three basic filtration uh, stages na kinanglan mo i-address. The first one is, we call this one a settlement tank. A settlement tank is because, the name itself, settlement, is because all the heavy solids na na-extract gikan sa atong tanki, diri siya mag-settle. Diri sa ilalom. Ang shape ano niya is 12 feet ni siya and then down to the bottom and then about like dito si Lalom is nag-cone siya bitaw and because of the principle of gravity everything that is heavier than the gravity itself will sink to the bottom and yeah, dito na muna i-collect na drain pipe si Lalom i-collect na muna manually at least every every day or every, twice a day depending on the feeding uh, feeding program now, this is the box filter. The second one is the suspended solids. You need to address that as well. Kung nakuha na nimo ang heavy solids sa box filter, well and good. Pero, you need to address also the problem of uh, the suspended solids. Karang suspended solids, mao na yung mga, mga waste matter na dili na sa maun lud. Naara na sa tubig nimo and it accumulates very fast. Now, come with me, I'll show you where, I'll show you the machine that will uh, will address that problem. Now, this machine is the one that addresses the problem of suspended solids. Itawag ni siya drum filter, rotary drum filter. This mesh here is equivalent to 48 micron siguro. 48 micron. Yeah, once the rotate ni siya, it is a clean water from the source, yan it wash down ang um, Kanang suspended solids yung nag-trap sa ilalom. So, dili ka sulod ang suspended solids na to dito sa atong plant, dito sa atong fish. Iyan niya siyang ipagawas sa atong system. Right now, nag-clean siya, nag cycle niya siya, and it goes automatically. So, usahay po manually, pwede na ito makuha siya, ma-operate uh, ma manually. Pero most of the time, it, it goes automatically. Nasa siya float switch, na mo trigger mo automatic siya o uh, self wash para matrap ang suspended solids the third waste na ma produce aquaponic system is ammonia and it's very common kay ang atong isda nga excrete na siya o tae ga excrete na siya o yang ihi the excrete na siya o gil um, byproduct and those three things basically it will cause ammonium and ammonia well kinahanglan to address that ammonia kinahanglan na yung kay good source of bacteria colony because di man mo na makuha sa any kind of filter di man na makuha sa box filter di man na makuha sa drum filter maka extract sa ammonia is bacteria you let nature uh, work and all we need to do is to give them a good house okay this is a k1 filter give them a good air and uh, they will do their thing they will they will convert ammonia 
through nitrification process and that will be food for the fish a uh, food for the plant sorry that will be food for the plants this one here is called a sump tank a sump tank is where most of the surface water will drain here on the uh, inside uh, inside here are pumps a kinning of pumps yang i pasakan too big ikan sa sump tank big paing on there is a header tank the kinning header tank na to all you need to do is to distribute the water back to the fish dere wala na ammonia dere wala na heavy solids wala na uh, suspended solids wala na siguro pero gamay na lang kayo Onya, so ang blue pipes mubalik na dito sa fish tank na to some of it kining smaller pipes will go dere sa atong grow bed which is uh, nutrient na uh, kining nutrient rich na for the fish na for the for the plants na to now there is a plant side we have three grow beds the kining side kining row dere this is uh, the the uh, the black rose latus variety actually latus of many varieties one of that is called black rose and this one here let me pick up one this is uh, as you can see the healthy root system this is 20 day old na seedling uh gi propagate ni gi kan sa seedling area na to uh gi germinate ni dito and then we waited for about roughly 25 to 28 days and then before it will be transplanted here in this farm we have seven varieties of lettuce we have uh, we grow them in a staggered uh basis from uh, every day we put in those seven varieties and then right there at the end as you can see we also harvest every day but uh right now we clean panamoni among beds namo because we are uh, preparing for a new set of batches for a new set of varieties dayon right over there we have an experiment bed which we experiment also cucumbers okra uh, tomatoes and also melon and it turned out quite good and uh, we are also thinking of uh, of uh, producing it by you know like a mass production hopefully by the, the end of this month or probably next month and uh, we'll see usa sa mga routine sa greenhouse just like farming is the care and maintenance there is a greenhouse although gi screen gi palibutan ng screen ng atong atong greenhouse na pagya po yung mga insekto nga ma, nga, nga makasulod so how we address that is uh, employing this simple fly trap it's an insect trap which will eventually uh, trap those unwanted pests sa greenhouse na will later will harm our plants and uh, another one is we kung na, na mga bugs nga dili matrap dere and i makasulod dere sa atong planting site is we use the old method called tericide mm, we simply terris the the one the, the the insect we do not apply pesticides here it's a complete no-no uh, for now we start with lettuce the reason why is because lettuce is a um, dili kasi kuti uh, ati manun when it comes to growing on water uh, and aside from that is pas pas po ng yield sa lettuce dalit mo sa harvest within 28 days 28 to 30 days after transplant pwede na yung sa mabaligya and uh, it's also what's this it's also common sa especially sa restaurants or sa hotels but aquaponics or hydroponics is not limited to lettuces alone actually most plants can be grown here except for root crops and we all know what root crops is root crops are plants that yield their fruit below the ground basically we do not apply that here so after growing beds it's a growing beds not though where there is water underneath we can grow most plants that you can think of Dire, ang pinaka barato nga source of uh, of 
ang, ang pinakabarato ng material na magamit na ito for planting kinampas tubig is styrofoam kung tanong mo kung safe ba niya or kung uh, safe man po there are many aquaponic growers and even hydroponic growers uses styrofoam as long as you, cho you choose the good material you choose the good uh, the, the, the right styrofoam source kina iban na kina dali na madugmok and if you leach on the, on the water it might poison your fish something like that so good use a good good uh, styrofoam so, so basically sa material na to kinanglan mo net pack ang net pack ninyo is where you, your your plant your seedling would be you put a good amount of media in there it could be coco choir or coco peat or some vermicast in there para nasa gamay foundation para nasa strong foundation while gamay pa siya roots basically will find its way to the water kanya just put it right there let nature do its work after 28 to 28 days to 30 days that's gonna be ready for harvest but in fact what on what on embryon it was just transplanted uh, when was that uh, four days ago as you can see the root system is starting to show that's how fast it is once the once the plant once the seedling uh, senses nitrate in the water it will just kick off and ready to what's this ready to grow that's how nature works usa sa mga benefits nga mahatag sa aquaponics is that dili na gyud ka mamunglay there's no weeding magbasok because everything is uh, grown on, uh, on 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 you know on a uh, on a clean bed wala sa yuta basically ang plants ang 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 plants will be free from weeds so bunglay basok weeding is ma eradicate na gina kung ma eradicate na gina sa aquaponic system this batch of lettuce has been here for about 28 days 29 30 days ago depending sa, sa row niya and uh, sa rule sa uh, lettuce growing it's about time for the lettuce to be harvested during that uh, during that amount of time kay if you go beyond that, basic pait ng letos, basic lahi ng ang taste, and that's not good to the customers. Na. So, as an oper uh, aquaponic operator, you need to address that right away. You need to be very keen on that. here is roughly about a, let's say 100 200 150 to 200 grams we have clean fresh that we take care properly without pesticides without any harmful fertilizers and that's ready for their consumption money among a nursery area nursery house they're not gonna germinate ang atoang ang atoang Come, come, ang ato ang mga seedling. Kini siya mo ni ato ang seedling tray. There are two, 256 cells in each of the tray square and yeah uh, this is uh, 11 days Nisha is a crash coco coil and inyo lang siya ayagon para dili maapili mga inani natay ang ang among pagid is ginaayag namo ni siya tapos ginasagula namo o ka ng vermicast para 50% uh, vermicast and then 50% na coco coir it's not much compared to uh, soil-based planting, pero mo kick off na ang 
ang seeds once naabot na dito sa sa transplant media nato sa grow bed dito na siya maabsorb as much as nutrients as can so for now this is good uh, as long as naalan siya ay a good foundation sa iyang roots before it transplant siya dito sa grow beds uh, for, for those who are interested sa aquaponic type of farming I can assure you nga it's it's not a uh, it's not like a garden of Eden thing that wala kay trabaho nun it's still farming yes you will have to, to work because that's how farming is you have to work but what I can assure you is that it's a very fulfilling uh, type of farming and it's the easy way of farming and another way and I mean another reason I don't know it's fulfilling is because you don't only produce one crop you don't only produce two crops but you produce multiple crops at the same time while enjoying your time taking care of the fish you also you know you you also make profits profit for the fish for those who are uh, aspiring to operate an aquaponic farms I say that you go for it it might be a little uh, challenging at first it's like what I had before but once you get away once you get past of that uh, challenging stage I'm telling you it's a it's a very fulfilling hobby and for those who are interested in eating or I would say acquiring pure clean food that is well taken care of uh, I encourage you to uh, log on to our Facebook page Green Mana Aquaponic Farms and stay tuned for more updates and stay tuned for uh, harvests and uh, I'll see you there and we wish to see you mga agri friends as well thank you